So what we have here is our arrangement of naturally colored dead dough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little ornament. Take a little bit of my plain dough, and as you take the dough, always make sure to cover it so that it doesn't crust over. Take a little bit of my red color. And the way to bring these colors together, I compress them and I roll them out. I twist them. I bring it back on top of each other. Compress it one more time. And keep on rolling it. Twisting it again. Rolling it up. The more I do this, obviously, I gotta be careful so that it doesn't become muddy. Next thing to roll this out. Put a little flour down, a little flour on top. Take your rolling pin. And you can see you have these nice, beautiful patterns on here. Look at the other side, see if you like one side better than the other. And now what I do is I basically fold these on top of each other to soften those patterns out a little bit. Turn it over, again make sure it doesn't stick. With a rolling pin, roll it out. And you can see again how much those colors have softened out and now you're ready to use it. Take a cookie cutter. Cut your shapes out of it. And then we take a Springerly mold, which are available on my website at breadhits.com. I compress the dough into it, flip it over, compress it from top. Then we release the mold carefully, not to distort the image. Lay it back down flat. Take my cookie cutter again, line it up. And to offset the edge, I use my marzipan tool to give it a nice decorative touch. Then, we cut our hole on top so that we can hang it up. Then we take a little bit of our turmeric and white white and just highlight that edge so that pattern starts to stand out. Then you're ready to bake it in an oven at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. So we take some raffia, push it through from the back, the hole that we've made. Fold it, pull it through the hole. And then we can attach this to a bottle of wine. And then who wouldn't like to receive something like this at your next invitation to a dinner party? If you want to find out more about projects like this, come visit us at breadhits.com.